snow is made for some slick roadways. Definitely not going as fast as I normally would. Some drivers found themselves in ditches. The icy roads even causing a semi to tip over. Good evening, everyone. Once again, it's been an all-day process for snow removal crews. Still cleaning up from last week's blizzard, Allison. Then this morning, cleaning up light snow that froze overnight. And right now, crews all over are still out and working. They're hoping to get ahead of a freeze that could leave the already slippery streets even more treacherous. Fox 11's Lindsay Baramis is live in Grand Chute. And Lindsay, how are things down there? Michelle, traffic is moving along here on College Avenue, but there have been problems. These tracks is from one of two cars that slid off the avenue earlier tonight. They were within several blocks of each other and illustrate the scattered slippery spots the State Patrol is warning of. Whether it's the company lot, the corner lot, or simply a lot, clearing snow in the wake of a blizzard has been a tall order in more ways than one. Caleb Buckman has been busy plowing since 6 a.m. A lot of coffee, just busy. Um, a lot of salting. I spent about two hours doing a sidewalk. After logging 25 hours clearing snow in the last blizzard, he hasn't gotten much time to recover. Nor has Ron Leitch, who isn't counting on a reprieve from Mother Nature. Just cleaning up, getting some, uh, getting the snow off the driveway, and uh, just making sure that uh, for the next, the next snowfall, I guess, more than anything else. Though Buckman has been plowing and salting all day, he says the constant snow has left roads slippery. The temperature is dropping right now, so it's going to freeze again. That's why we're out here now. The Wisconsin State Patrol says all roads, especially the main travel corridors, highways 41 and 43, were snow covered and slippery throughout the day. Sergeant Tim McGrath says the conditions had many drivers in the ditch and caused a number of crashes, but no serious injuries. Anytime you're driving in, in winter conditions, slow down um, and, and give yourself as much space as possible from the vehicle in front of you. Though there was an improvement in the early evening, snow removal quickly turned to car removal. All the roads are going to have some amount of snow and ice accumulated on them, so if you don't need to drive in winter weather, uh, don't. The drivers that do, however, plan to stay safe with caution and a whole lot of concentration. Am I sick of the snow? No, we're just getting started. There's a lot more of this coming. Might as well keep a positive attitude about it. Most drivers we talked with share that attitude. They say the conditions are what they expect from Wisconsin. It may take them a little longer to get to their destination, but after a few snowfalls, they say they feel confident. Live in Grand Chute, Lindsay Veramis, Fox 11 News.